I can tell you that we've, he's been seen for treatment since he was born. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> Kaden, do you need help? Yes. Ask for help then. Um, okay, let's do it together. Caroline, help? Yeah. And say, Caroline, help. Kaden. My name is Terry Sachs and I'm the clinic director of the speech and language clinic at Western Washington University. When he first started coming, most of the session was spent trying to stop him from hurting himself. He tantrumed for almost all 50 minutes and the way he would tantrum was throw himself on the floor and hit his head. And when he first started coming in, you could see that he had a scar there from constantly hitting his head. He still occasionally will tantrum, but the tantruming, I believed and still believe, was directly related to the fact that this is a pretty smart kid who could not communicate his wants and needs. Um, now he's using a, uh, we call it an augmentative uh, communication device and is able to, there's a button on the device that says, all done. There's a button on the device that says, I want to do it myself. And we're trying to train him to that. And we see much, much less tantruming. And we see a kid who is discovering the power of communication. My name is Jason Taylor. I'm the father of Caden Taylor. Uh, Caden was born with a genetic disorder. Uh, we don't know the exact one now. I've gone through multiple genetic disorders and um, it has to do with multiple phases, cognitive issues, uh, he has physical issues, he was born with extra digits on each hand, um, almost extra toes, they call them great toes, um, which have both been surgically fixed at this point. He was born without an epiglottis, which is the part that blocks your airway, so we have feeding issues with him. Uh, we do genetic testing with him uh, probably twice a year. Um, it's kind of an ongoing, it takes a while for it to test, but they test them for different things. And so far we've gone through about six different syndromes without finding the correct one for him. So it's kind of where we're at. At first it's horrible. You go into that program with, uh, you're emotionally and physically spent. I mean, you just, you have nothing. And then to have him slowly uh, be able to communicate with you and actually have a, a small conversation with your son is uh, beyond words. My hope is that we get him the best people and uh, the best um, therapies that we can and we'll see how far he kind of goes. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that he's an independent, you know, productive member of society. That's, I mean, what it comes down to. I want him to enjoy life. I don't want him to have to struggle through life constantly. And with him being able to start to communicate, I think that we're on the right track. Currently, well, they just ended, but Caroline and Carly um, have been a great pair, just uh, have gotten a long way with Caden. So uh, they've been patient and uh, disciplined with him, which you need to be, um, just the right amount. So, you know, without them, I don't know what, quite honestly, what we have done. They're just, uh, without the services from Terry and picking the right people, without the right people coming in, and these students who probably don't work with kids like this, you know, haven't had that much experience with kids like this. Just been working with them has been great. Uh, just I couldn't I can't say enough good things about them. How do you feel, Kaden? 